What's up guys? Welcome to this historic file. The most common question I get is, is define if you can become a millionaire using stoicism. Right. So in my explanation is that you can become a millionaire using stoicism. I'm going to give you some practical tips. Okay. It doesn't guarantee that you will become a millionaire. But if you have this, right, could possibly become um, become a minion now, right? So that's a common question I get. So let me tell you the truth about socialism and to become a minion now. So becoming a minion now is a goal many aspire, but few achieve one number of strategy and philosophies are aimed at wealth accumulation. Stoicism offers a unique and enduring framework of financial success rooted in ancient wisdom. This philosophy can guide to complexity of the modern finance world by focusing on the right behavior and mindset. So, our first tip is focusing on what you can control. So by focusing on really what you can control, you can become wealthy. And why? Because you focus on what you can control, right? So, focus on your action, emotions, and decisions. So, this is really helpful to become a millionaire. So, embrace diversity. Use challenges as learning experiences. If a business deal, trade, or investment goes so, analyze them and move on. Right. So, you can become a millionaire and accumulate wealth by focusing on what you can control, right? Because therefore, you doesn't mean you can become a millionaire, but for you really to um to to gather to gather wealth, you have to to focus on what you need, right? Because if you don't, you want to focus on what you need, right? So really important. Another tip is live simply. Stoicism teaches the contentment with less. This can help save and invest more efficiently. So where is it? Um, what they do according to Stoicism. So Seneca wasn't wealthy. Right? He was an emperor, right? But what he did, he lived simply. Okay? So yeah, he wasn't wealthy. But this in all his eyes, he was wealthy. So what the Stoicism really seemed emphasize is to live simply. So according to the Stoic era, uh, many emperors live simply, right? The teachers that the companionment with less that you can save and invest more efficiently today, right? And this is known as frugality. This is really important, right? So, but many of you are asking me, okay, define define like living simply is not really wealthy that might not be the case okay but if you save and invest more i guarantee you that yes you can become a millionaire so, so actually decision making make investment on business this is based on logic not emotion right so you're not like wasting um, and focusing on the one, on the one thing, right? So this can help you avoid impulsive ways. So you have to make rational about your um well and to become a millionaire. So long, mama more five. So far is long term perspective. Stoicism is all about the long game, compound interest long-term invest and align well with this. So, this is really important, right? According to stoicism, you have to have a long-term, um, um, yes, vision. And why I'm saying that? Because you have to remember that you have to have a long-term um, vision, right? To become a nut, right? 
taking, for example, Marcus Aurelius, right? He had a long-term perspective, right? He was a great, great, great emperor, and he had a long-term perspective, right? So, Marcus Aurelius, yes, was rich, right? But he had a long-term perspective. So, um, ethical conduct, so this is an emphasized virtue. Ethical business practice can lead to do more sustainable and important business. You have to be ethical conduct, right? You have to um, emphasize um, the virtue of ethical business, right? If you really want to become wealthy, you have to have ethical conduct and emphasize the virtue of ethical business practices. So therefore, you will have a sustainable um, world. So, it's very important for you to become a millionaire. Now, number seven is daily reflection. Take time to daily to reflect on your actions, right? And adjust your strategies, right? So, it again go to the um, compounding test, right? So, if you want to become a millionaire, you have to take a daily, you have to reflect on that, right? According to soy season, you have to focus on what you can control, right? This is really important, according to Marcos Aurelius also, right? He was really wealthy, right? He had a lot of money, but he also diversified risk, which brings us to number eight, diversified risk. Soy season teach us to prepare for various outcomes in training and investing. It's translated to diversification. So you have to mm, diversify your risk. So historics live simply, right? Right? Most of them were um, farm workers, right? But they still had a diversification, right? This is really important. This is our number eight so far. So again, um, continuous learning. You need to adapt and learn. So this way you know the market, and to become a millionaire, you have to still learn the, the stoicism way of the millionaire. So, it's really, really, really important. So, yes, according to stoicism, I'm going to give you this tip. So, this is another tip for me, for me, so it's fine. But you have to focus on what you can control. Don't let the bad things and the um, opinion of the father affect you. Because take me for example. I didn't take what they thought about me. You said like I'm a poor, poor speaker. Like I can't even talk here. I can't write, talk for example. So I didn't listen to them. I had my own... Um, I focused on what I can, on, I focused on, on, I, on what is controllable for me because I didn't listen to the other people's opinion. So, if you have to be in gratitude, again, be thankful for what you have and where you are. So, 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 so if your gratitude, that's going to help you, stopping you from making reckless decisions about rent, okay? So to become a millionaire, you have to go into story season of what that we can control. You also have to be great at it now. Okay, so I'm gonna summarize, summarize it all. Grasp your sphere of influence. Turn obstacles into stepping stones. Okay, live simply. Make rational decisions about your life. And moral integrity. No. Okay, and continuous learning. So these are my top 10 um, ways to become a millionaire according to stoicism. I hope you guys find it in um, interesting and stay tuned for more. Peace.